Conquest, hosted in the SMX Convention Center in Manila, Philippines. Are you into anime? Come on, we got them! Cosplays left and right. Meet your favorite online creators such as Pokimane, Saikuno, Valkyrie, and many more. Bro, oh, Joey was there? What? I would love to meet Joe. VTubers meet and greet. Huge music night. Expect 100,000 people. Jesus, that's a lot. The projected numbers of attendance would be around 100,000. Pack your bags, bring your favorite Pumo plush. We will see you there. Ba bam! Transition. Day one. Everything's going well. Business as usual. People are meeting people. Games, food, blah 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 blah. That's not where the fun is. Let's jump to day two. And a little bit of day two since they're both the same. Doors open at 9 a.m. and people are expecting a huge line early, which is, yeah, fair enough. But our people at host has the same idea. So people went to the venue early, which in turn creates a huge line anyway. By 6 a.m., three hours before the opening, a huge line was already formed. And by 9 a.m., even more people arrived, getting a queue. The line was so long that the line ended up looping around, almost reaching the next building. But that's not even all. If by any chance you get inside, you get greeted by, get this, more lines. Yes, this is what I came for. More lines. Yeah. People are reporting that after the first boss fight outside, which is the long line, there's a second phase inside waiting just to use the escalator. This line also took like 30 to 40 minutes, give and take. <laughs> it started to be clear that they sold way too many tickets and overcrowded the venue. Boots and meeting greets are being overcrowded and also has a huge line. The grounds are also being reported to be too crowded that even just roaming around, walking from front to end, can take 10 minutes, which is really bad for a place like SMX. In the afternoon, Congress staff even told all of the food stalls to not sell any food. People are theorizing that maybe this is done to divert people outside the convention? To go outside or something like that? Which, if you ask me, is pretty dumb. And once you're inside, you know that going outside means you'll never go back. Not a chance that you can get inside. Soon later, Conquest staff told them that they can open the food stalls again at 6 p.m. But immediately shut them down for no reason. Some of the food stalls even gave out free food to the attendees because they know that these people are hungry. Day 3. More of the same lines, long grounds, overcrowded, heat, very hot. Are the AC even working? Like maybe they forgot to flick the switch or something? <laughs> Amone cosplayer has also been pouring steam from the boots. <laughs> Talk about being in character too much, yeah? <laughs> this should cover food and rent for a while. Some even also reported that a bunch of VTubers tandies are being stolen. But I can't confirm if it's true. If it's true, then comment down. But well, we we'll never know. And yeah, that's a quick recap on what happened in the CONQ 2023. Overpromise, underdeliver, disappoint. <laughs> if anything happens, I'll make an update video, but this is what I have so far. Enjoy! <laughs>